Hello friends. As we continue our tarot explorations, we have reached day 71. Today's spread is that of, is it time to conceive a child? Weighing the pros and cons, this spread can also be used for any similarly life-changing choice. For example, you could modify the questions in this for adoption or for marriage as well. For this demonstration, I will be using the Supernatural Tarot deck and I'll be interpreting the cards as if I had a person in front of me who I was doing this reading for. That being said, let's get into it. Card number one addresses the question, do we want the child now or at some point in the future? If you have adapted this to be some other major life choice, just replace, do I want the child with, do I want this marriage, do I want this move, etc. Card number two, if we try, how soon can we conceive? Card number three, what will we lose most in terms of freedom or finances if we proceed at this time? Card four, what will we gain most by starting a family? Card number five, how can we keep the special magic alive once we have our child? In other words, how do we keep having a strong, healthy relationship ourselves after we have a child? Card six, how best can we improve our health to improve the odds of conception? Card seven, what practical lifestyle changes will be necessary after we have our child? Card number eight, do we just let nature take its course or do we seek some medical assistance in the act of conception? So those are the eight cards. Now we're gonna shuffle up and see what the supernatural tarot has to tell us. Okay, card one, that's a good sign, two, three, four, five, and then we'd scoot these a little further, six, seven, Okay, just going to double check my view real quick. Need to scoot those two in a touch. There we go. Okay, so some quick observations before we get into the individual cards. We have a good spread of suits. Actually, we have a perfect distribution of two from each suit. Two cups, two pentacles, two blades, and two bones. Most of the cards are upright. There are only two reversals. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into these. Card number one. Should we be trying now or waiting for the future? So in this deck, the four of pentacles is represented by Bella Talbot. She is a character in the show who is a con artist. In the upright position, this card represents financial security. You're not falling for the con. In reverse, you would have been. This leads me to believe, being upright in a card about financial security, that this would be a good time you're secure enough that you could start a family now. Three of Goblets reversed. The Three of Goblets is about relationships. It's about dynamics between individuals. Being reversed, it feels like there's some outside force, some person outside of your relationship who is making it difficult to start a family right now. Probably based on their expectations of what they want out of your child, rather than allowing you and your spouse to just be the type of parents you want to be. Card number three, what will we lose most if we start a family now? We have the Six of Cups upright. The Six of Cups is about spontaneity. It is the unbridled passion of just doing what you want when you want. In the case of starting a family, you're going to need to put some of your own desires behind the needs of your child. 
you'll need to reduce your self-indulgence a little bit, which is not a bad thing. That's just part of the cycle of starting a family. And it doesn't mean never do something fun. Just you'll need to balance those two priorities. Card four is the Queen of Blades, Upright. In this deck, it is represented by the character of Naomi. She is an archangel. No. I forget whether she's an archangel or not, but she's an angel who is very fierce in her commitments. She is willing to do what is necessary, even to a scary degree, to get what she sees as necessary done. In a more generic sense, the Queen of Blades represents typically a woman, but it could just be a person who has mastered their trials, who knows how to wield their experiences rather than be controlled by them. So that is what you stand to gain. You gain the ability, not the ability, you have the opportunity to gain experience and mastery over things that have challenged you in the past. Card number five is represented by the Two of Pentacles. In this deck, it's represented by the character Henry Winchester, Sam and Dean's grandfather. During one of their escapades, he got pulled forward through time and had to make the difficult choice of whether he would return to his proper time or not. The Two of Pentacles is all about balance. How will you be able to keep your relationship alive? It will be by balancing the needs of your children versus the needs of yourself and your spouse. Prioritize what needs done on any given day, but don't neglect each other. It's easy to get caught up in the routine and lose sight of each other from all of the necessary appointments and school and activities. Find that time for each other as well. Card number six. How can we improve our health to best facilitate the creation of a family? We have the Four of Bones upright. The Four of Bones is a card of, of celebrations, of doing the things you enjoy. Make sure that as you make lifestyle changes, that they're things you enjoy doing. As a simple example, if you hate running, don't make running your exercise routine. Try doing something you enjoy, like, say, yoga or weight training, swimming. Life is so full of opportunities and variations that you can find the way. There are so many good things in life. Find the one that works for you. Card number seven is the Nine of Blades, represented by the character Alistair from the show. Alistair is the Grand Inquisitor of Hell and delights in causing pain to others. This is a card about anxiety, about fears. What practical lifestyle changes? You're suddenly going to be responsible for someone who is completely dependent on you. That can bring a lot of fear with it. So the practical lifestyle change is going to be to face that fear. Acknowledge that it exists and take practical steps to prepare for it. Build the relationships that you need so that you can call on help as you need it. If you have good relationships with your parents and grandparents, enlist their aid. Become friends with your neighbors. Build a community around you who can help you face the unexpected problems of life. Then you won't have to be full of anxiety. You can be full of hope instead. Card number eight is, should we do this completely naturally or seek some medical help? We have the King of Bones reversed. The King of Bones in this deck is represented by the character Metatron. He was the scribe for God who then chose to go his own way and cause a lot of problems. Being reversed, this is don't trust blanket promises. The medical profession can sound like a surefire thing. Doctors sound very sure of themselves almost always, because that's how they're trained to behave. Make sure that what they are promising you isn't too good to be true. This doesn't mean don't seek medical assistance. Just do your research first and come to your own conclusions. Don't just blindly accept what doctors tell you. That brings us to the end of this demonstration. Again, this could be modified for any major life-changing decision. It 
does not have to be about the choice of bringing new life into the world. It could be about your choice of college, where you want to move, who you want to marry, anything that is going to majorly alter the, the path of your life. Just a quick reminder, I do have some new links in the description of this video. If you're interested in joining my Discord community, you'll find an invitation there, a link to my personal website, and to my Buy Me A Coffee page. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.